Yesterday evening was particularly challenging for me mentally because I've never walked away from an animal before that I felt like I could have at least put a, a good stock on at that range. Um, I put them to bed and knowing that I have to come back the next day, whether it's just before opening day or it's you just don't have the ability to get to them in time before it gets dark. So I've been faced with those situations lots, but never faced with the situation of being underneath it knowing that you could do it and walking away from it. It's not a great feeling. Um, it's what you have to do if you want to produce the best quality uh, videography that you can. And that's the decision that was made yesterday and we um, stuck to it and we're hoping that the weather was supposed to improve and it did. So as it looks right now, that's been in our favor. So the great thing about it is this morning, as soon as I got up, I put the glass up and I was able to pick that Billy up again. So he's there, he's uh, in a little different position, but nonetheless, he's on the same side of the mountain and now we just have to go and make it happen. So from here, it's about a mile and a half to the base of the mountain where the Billy is. So it's a bush bash from here on in. We just gotta stay hard and keep hammering. And no guff, we gotta do the work. And let's uh, get going. I don't see him. And as the terrain unfolds, you know, from there to here, it just looks so much different. I think that we're just underneath him, but I know he's there. What is it about goats that like this kind of country? Doesn't matter whether I've hunted them down in BC or here in the Yukon. It seems to be very similar terrain that they live in. This is why five goats get killed in the Yukon by residents every year. just out of sight underneath this big rock band. I know for sure he can't see us. Now we just gotta be able to strip a layer and move a little bit faster. So I'm not out of sight for too long because once we get above that rock band, I'll be within shooting distance. Just have to find him again. less than 200 yards away right now. And we're just waiting for him to step out of the gully that he's in. I caught a glimpse of him and he's, he's in that gully and eventually he's gotta come out of it. So I have two choices. It's either stay right here and wait till he walks out one side or the other, or go into the drainage and shoot almost straight up. I don't got a shot yet. Yeah. He's gonna step out still. He's looking right at us.
Okay, you ready? Man, when he stepped out on that rock, beautiful. Like it just seems like every hunt is just so special in its own way. And this one was, I got to put this right up there as one of the more difficult bush bashes that we've done on a hunt. Like crazy steep and you're pulling yourself. Every foot that you make is a pull, you know, with your hands and your whole body. When you spend time in places like this, after animals like that, that live and thrive in the most inhospitable places, it's just special. I was saying to myself coming up here, and I was, I was literally saying, you know what, if we don't get this goat, that's okay, because this is part of it it's the struggle it's the difficulty i mean i was enjoying every minute of it and obviously we're been rewarded by you know having a, a great billy up there but this is why i do it so i can sit and i can look over mountains and just spend time in a beautiful place to get away from everything else Oh man, guys. It's always hard. Beautiful animals. Seven, eight, and nine. He's in his ninth year, so. That's a good, you know, good mature ability to take off the mountain. The black, you know, we're talking the first first year of life is that real black part. And then what you're looking for in an older belly is just this long, this dark, this brownish color to be pronounced. And, you know, half the horn is, is a really good indication of an older belly. But if you've just got these black tips and, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of brown, then you're, you're talking about a young belly the finality of the end of the hunt and you know the respect that I have for these animals in particular because of where they live you know it's just such a unforgiving and harsh environment just to get back in here takes a lot of effort I don't take it for granted to be able to come back into places like this and and pursue these majestic animals and you have to be, be willing to push and drag yourself and freeze and be soaking wet. And it's just a special place. And I'm very fortunate right now. I've got a long way to, to, to get out. It's going to be steep. It's going to be nasty. And that's part of the challenge and part of the, part of the reward is putting in the hard miles and, you know, just continuously doing the work that it takes to get back into places like this and, and then to pursue amazing animals like mountain goat. <laughs>